man. It's been a few years, dude. I know. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm a little tired today, yeah. but it's all right. Yeah, it's at least nice. we have nice weather. Nice weather, man. You can't ask for anything better. It's, at least it's not Texas. You're saying it's too hot in Texas. Too hot, too hot. Florida, Texas, eh. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, eh. We're good, we're good. So, Davey, you've been busy, huh? Yeah. 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 Worked on the new album? Yeah, I worked on the new album for a really long time. Um, you know, I uh, just wanted to get it right. And, um, you know, in between working on that, I've been speaking at schools and I launched uh, a nonprofit. So, I've been very busy. Whenever I'm home, I just go crazy and I need to start doing something, so. You're like, I'll do extra laundry, I don't yeah, care, whatever, just something. <laughs> whatever happens, yeah, I clean my house like twice a day. My wife really appreciates it, but. Uh, Shower once a day, clean twice a day, get it all mixed up. Just get it all, just get it all done, yeah. That's awesome. Well, you worked on that album. You're going out. You're doing public speaking, and back again on Warp Tour, man. It's you know home sweet home for you. Yeah, I love it. This is our fourth year of doing the whole Warp Tour, and uh, seniors this year, and uh, it's cool. The vibe. I was just talking to Icy Stars about this. The vibe is so cool on this year's Warp Tour, and everyone is just like hanging and like having fun, and uh, it's how Warp Tour should be. You know, it remind being on Warp Tour this year as an artist reminds me why I started going to Warp Tour as a kid when I was like 12 years old. So I feel like the themes of Warp Tour have carried through forever. It's one of the only tours that's never really changed, which is good. Yeah. It's always kept its cool punk rock values. Right. Yeah. You always got the thousands of merch tables and all the nonprofits and all the stages. And, you know, so, some days it gets chaotic for some of those fans out there. It gets a little overwhelming sometimes, but yeah. You cope with it and you just keep going. I got overwhelmed walking over here today because it's one straight line and, um, you know, 7,000 people, not all of them know how to walk correctly, so you get a little overwhelmed at times, but it's cool, man. It's, these kids are having fun and that's kind of all it's about. You know, a few years ago in New York City, what we had to do is go in on uh, one side of the sidewalk. We had to put like texters and, you know, phone people on one side and people that actually live in the city, tourists. And, you know, I think we're going to have to do that next year for Warp Tour. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Separating everybody, everybody out. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you know, you worked really hard on that album and, you know, it. you feel like it's your personal best yet from Vanna. It's a little bit, uh, you know, over the top and what you guys wanted to accomplish for a while yeah it, it's definitely uh, I think on the last record void we really uh, started kind of experimenting and getting a lot of like really deep issues that we had in our lives out especially myself and then on, on, on all hell the new one this one I was really proud of because the records all about being proud of the the hell that I've gone through to be the person I am and these songs are for all these kids to, for them to be proud of of maybe the failures that they came from or proud of the dark times they've gone through because they're still here. And I feel so often that people tend to hide their issues. I used to do it all the time, but I think that you should be proud of it because you're still here. I'm, I'm completely fine, dude, dude. But yeah. deep inside, you know, you're hurting right. and the way to get it out is by music. Yeah, and exactly. And, that, and then the whole record is, the, you know, the whole, whole record is just, it's there for when everyone needs it and we really hope it helps with whatever's going on. So if you had a hard day and you need to put on a track to like punch your steering wheel, cool. If you've had like an emotional day and you need to put a track to cry in your room, cool. If you've had a great day and you need to just put on a track to like walk around and have fun, <laughs> Same, you know, it's all there for you. Yeah, and that's awesome. Well, Vanna, you've been doing Warp Tour, like you said, for four years, and you know, it's every time you get on stage, you know, you at the end, you know, maybe you got that like evil death metal core face going on where you don't look happy, but the moment you turn around and you walk off stage and you go, yes, yes, all those people knew the words and they were yeah. screaming, they were jumping, you were the happiest kid ever. I don't even have that face, that death metal face. I can't hide my face. I smile on stage constantly. Uh, we played Connecticut yesterday to the biggest crowd we've ever played in Connecticut too. It's pretty close to homes. So it's kind of like a home show almost, but uh, I smile the whole time. I don't, I can't put on that like tough guy image anymore. I'm just too happy, man. I'm way too happy for what we have going on, and I'm way too happy. I'm happy because I look at these kids, and they are, like, having the best day of their life, and I just put myself in those shoes, and I remember being 15, 16, 17, having the best day of my life watching my favorite band. So. It's like Pennywise, Bad Religion. Oh, my God, it's really them. Yeah. They're real. Yeah. They're not a mirage. It's just weird, <laughs> weird to consider, like, ourselves as bands like that for kids nowadays, but I guess that's what it is, and uh, I'm actually just kind of honored. Yeah, yeah. Now there are quite, a, you know, it's it's a nice mix up. Like we said, this is probably one of the best years for Warp Tour because, you know, we do have bands out here 
like newfound glory and then we got some of the newer guys like sleeping with sirens and then you know we mix it in and you know a lot of the fans out there they love that there's the variety this year so much and and there's different stages for different styles and stuff and you got the monster stage for you know people like you and the, yeah so it's it's good it's cool to have the, the an overall vibe i, I hate when bands all the these bands get posted and people People are like, what? Why all this band, this band, this band? It's like, yes, there's a tons of metal out here, a bunch of hardcore, a bunch of pop punk, a bunch of throwback bands, a bunch of brand new bands. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about like mixing it up. And like, I don't know if, like what people think, but like, just I'm in a heavy band, but I don't always just listen to heavy music. I listen to a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, so I enjoy a lot of these bands out here who sound completely different. And at the end of the day, all these bands out here, we, we look different, we sound different. We're all friends. We all backstage. We all hang out all the time and respect what each other does. Because essentially, we're all pretty much the same exact guy or girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a different, a little bit of difference. Um, and I love celebrating that difference. And some of my, some of my best friends on this tour, our bands couldn't even tour together because we don't even remotely come close to each other. Right. But it doesn't matter, man. Music kind of bonds us all together. Did you guys see the Airs and Vanna on a tour together? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. But it could be. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> they're, they're, I watch them like every other day. That band's sick. I would definitely watch them. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know, you were just mentioning. There's a lot of stuff that you know the viewers out there they don't get to see when they come to Warp Tour. But you know, you guys are always smiling. I see bands even. I think there's probably more bands taking selfies with other bands than there are oh, like yeah. fans taking. <laughs> yeah, there's so much. There's like tons of band group chats out here, like text chats and. Yeah, we, we all just love to hang out with each other, and it's like our summer just to chill with each other and do what we love and, and get away from everything else that we've been doing all year. Um, it's cool, man. On our release day, we had so many bands telling kids to go buy our record from stage, even though they have records out too. Yeah. Um, I just was like, man, this is so cool. Everyone's vibing on this stuff. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we are all friends out here, man. It's a true community. Uh, and do you ever get shocked? Like, I mean, just a couple of minutes ago, you see Dan from Set It Off walking around with the Vanna shirt on, and you're like, what? He, he likes our music? What? It's sick when I see bands. Like, yeah, I just said hey to him, and uh, we didn't even really know each other that well. And he's like, oh, I'm actually a really fan of your band. We just kinda, we've done tours together, and I just really didn't know him. And uh, it's awesome when I walk around and just see bands with Vanna stuff on, and I'm like, Hell yeah, that rules. That that means that you've watched us for a few days on this tour and you really dug it enough to go up to the merch tent and buy a shirt from us. And that's the thing is that we aren't like they aren't expecting to get one for free. Dan bought that shirt. Yeah. He took his money and he bought that shirt because he wants to support our band. Right. It's so sick. And set it off in Vanna. Yeah, we could tour together. Th that could happen. You never know. But we don't sound anything alike. We're not even from the same worlds, and yet there that there's that. I, I can see a collaboration going on right now. I will collab with any artist, man. I don't I don't care anymore, man. I just have an open mind. I love music. I love people. So I'll do I'll do a collab with anybody it doesn't matter to me we we want to really do a collab with a, like a rapper you know what i mean that would be like something cool sigma sirens did that with machine gun kelly they did a song together like two years ago and i was sick and vanna and run dmc why not right yeah i, I really want to do dmx so if you're out there dmx there you go that would be awesome well we're going to take a quick break you have a music video out that you guys worked on not too long ago we're going to we'll go ahead and let the viewers watch it when we come back we're going to talk a little bit more right after this well, we talked about the important stuff, you know, Warped Tour, yeah. new album, go out, support it if you like Vanna. But uh, what do you like to do when you're not doing music? Are you a fisherman, outdoors guy, uh, video games? Are you playing that Pokemon shit or what? No, I, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm far too busy to, do, to play a Pokemon game. I would love to. Um, I, uh, I speak at high schools. Uh, in middle schools and colleges for a living outside of Venice. I travel around the country and I, I do youth speaking. I work at a studio producing bands uh, that's in my town. Um, so I get to work a lot with music and stuff. Uh, I own a, a nonprofit called Shovel Brand. It's a one for one um, donation based uh, clothing company. So I do a lot of stuff. But I do live in Maine and Maine is beautiful. It's the dream. So it's, it's vacation land. So I, I go to the beach a lot. I go hiking a lot. I go camping a lot. Um, me and my wife try to stay outdoors as much as we can in the nice weather. Um, and then in the wintertime, I uh, stay in my apartment and don't go outside because it's snowing so much. I'm not a skier or a snowboarder. A lot of my friends are, and they, like, leave for the whole winter. And I just shovel snow and, you know, hope for the best. That's awesome. Well, Davey, good seeing you. Thanks, man. Yeah, sure. anytime you're on the welcome on the show. So make sure you guys go check out Vanna. And if you miss them at Warp Tour, I'm sure you guys will do some kind of fall tour. Or fall. Check us out for the fall. Keep keep those eyes open for those dates. Yeah, let's go like them on Facebook. Are you a Snapchatter? Love Snapchat. Snapchat for the band is Vanna the Band. 
Our Instagram is Vanna Band. We do the Twitter. We do. We got it all. So if you want to reach us, you want to talk to us, just talk to us. There you go. They're easy to reach out. You know, no worries. So Vanna Warp Tour 2016. Thanks for watching the Vinnie Langdon show. And uh, I'm gonna go find a place to go take a nap for a little bit before uh, I get in the next circle pit. We'll see you later.